Produced by Goodco ZTech, this video explains how to install strip seals on Series 1000 Type C single cell expansion joints, which are used by the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario, as well as on modular expansion joints. First, make sure that you are installing the correct strip seal in the corresponding location. Refer to the shop drawings to select the correct strip seal. The model number appears at one meter intervals underneath the strip seal. Unroll the strip seal to make sure that it will cover the entire length of the joint assembly. To install strip seals on newly made joints, you must first remove the concrete formwork surrounding the joint assembly and clear all loose concrete debris from the steel retainers. Next, remove the protective foam rod inserted in the steel retainer openings. Be sure to remove all debris in the upturn of the joint assembly at the parapet level. Afterwards, inspect the opening and remove any remaining debris using a steel tool. If there is any latence in proximity of the steel retainers, it will be very difficult to insert the strip seal in place. After making sure that the openings of the steel retainers are clear of all debris, apply the IPEX type lubricant that was supplied by Goodco ZTEC. The lubricant may also be applied with a paintbrush on the tips of the arrowhead lugs along the strip seal in order to facilitate installation. Apply lubricant on three to five meter sections at a time. Note that this lubricant is water-soluble and can dry rapidly in warm temperatures, making it considerably less effective. Start inserting the strip seal near the edge of the parapet. Press the V-shape of the strip seal together and insert it between the steel retainers with the V pointing downwards. Slide the strip seal into the parapet as needed. The arrowhead lug should be pointing directly into the steel retainer openings. There must be a minimum opening of 40 millimeters between the steel retainers in order to install the strip seal. The strip seal must be inserted using the proper tools, for example, blunt tools with rounded edges. We highly recommend that you employ the tools supplied by Goodco ZTech. Always use tools with extremities that have been rounded off with a grinder. Never use tools with sharp edges, such as a screwdriver, which could easily damage the strip seal. Strip seals can be installed using a variety of tools. The most commonly used tool is a crowbar with a rounded tip. A special tool is also available at Goodco ZTech that will allow you to lock the strip seal in place while in a standing position. Begin locking the strip seal in place approximately one meter from the parapet or curb. The seal extremities upturns and the guardrails or curb should only be locked in place after the strip seal has been installed along the entire length of the roadway. Initiating the seal lock-in operation is a relatively difficult step, which is why we recommend that it be carried out by two people. Once the first few centimeters of the strip seal are in place, the rest of the operation can be performed by a single person using either a crowbar or the tool supplied by Goodco ZTech. The arrowhead lugs must be pushed inside the steel retainers inch by inch. When the strip seal is properly in place, the backs of the arrowhead lugs will be flush with the exterior of the steel retainers. The strip seal is properly locked in when it forms a straight and continuous line. The strip seal is not properly locked in if bulges are visible on the surface.
Locking in the strip seal at the edge of the parapet is a delicate operation that must be carried out by two people. It's very important to pay particular attention when locking in the strip seal at the transition between the roadway section and the upturn, which is usually the low point subject to water accumulation. The joint assembly will not be watertight if the strip seal is not properly locked in at these locations. Remove the excess lubricant and inspect the strip seal to ensure that it's properly locked in place. The strip seal must be perfectly aligned along the edge of the steel retainers and no bulges must be visible. If bulges are present, repeat the locking in process until the surface of the strip seal is smooth and straight. Once the installation is completed, it's important to remove any excess lubricant and to clean the area properly in order to prevent the accumulation of debris. For more information on the installation and replacement of strip seals, contact the experts at Goodco ZTech.